Hey hey guys, welcome to another video review. I am busting out these reviews at the moment. I am on fire. So today we're looking at, boom, this one, which is um, one of the Avengers figures. Iron Man, Mark 7. Ooh, yeah, I was actually looking for the packaging because I can't remember the full name of this one. But it's Iron Man, it's Iron Man Mark 7. I'll find out the proper name of it and put it in the description bar. You got a problem with it? Wanna further burn it? So yes, um, I went out. I unfortunately gave in to the whole Mark 7 thing. After seeing the Mark 42, I was like, well fine, maybe the Mark 7 isn't that bad. Uh, but the figure reviews I saw were shocking. Um, but that was because that was a different one. There's two versions of the Mark 7 that were brought out. There's the one with the spinning disc, which is the one that's apparently really easy to find. Then there's this one, which is apparently the harder one to find. I found two of them. So yeah, that's a fail. Uh, but this one comes with this amazing weapon. Just look at that. That's a fantastic looking weapon. Wow, so in, in scale. Ooh. Anyway, um, you can fire that weapon, said weapon. It's got a nice blue, I must admit, I do like the blue. I'm a sucker for that blue. But you can press the little button here, and it fires. Repulsor blast. Now we'll take that off and put it over there. On to the figure. So, it's not fantastic, but it's not the worst. You always drink when I'm reviewing. Stop with your drinking or else I shall burn you alive. Ugh, bugger. Bloody rabbit keeps on taking a drink every time I review. Um, anyway, yes, yeah, so this is Mark 7. Like I said, it's not the best in articulation, but it could have been worse compared to the first version. So he's got a ball joint in his head. He's got a ball joint, well, ball hinge here. Ball hinge, isn't there? Yeah, there's a ball hinge there. Doesn't look like one, especially on this side. It's quite well incorporated. But it is there. Um, he's got a ball hinge here, got double hinged knees, very nice, that's an improvement from the last one I believe. And he's also got ball articulated ankles. Nothing in the waist unfortunately, all the hands. Which would have really made this figure phenomenal. And also some feet, uh, holes, some foot pegs would have been nice. They seem to have cut back on hole pegs for added articulation. But yeah, it's a fantastic looking figure as, I can, as you can see. It's, um, it's got a lot more of a, a vibrant red compared to the Iron Man 2 figures. Um, so all the colours really pop on this. Which I'm hoping this camera can pick up with. It's not been doing too badly. So. A couple of the bits of the paint are a little bit sloppy, like on the leg here. You have got kind of a... Ah, phone's there. A uh, <laughs> couple of bits on there, I've got a little bit of uh, silver markings on them. Oh, it's slopped over the red, but not a problem. And he's also got uh, writing on his leg, which I don't believe is film accurate. <laughs> so, but yeah, this is the Mark Seven. The art reactor hasn't been painted that greatly either, to be honest. It's just they've literally looks like they've put a blue sticker on it there and the hands. But I'm just being nitpicky. Like I said, this figure itself is pretty nice, and he fell over. He's also got that hole in his back, which I have no idea why. I'll give you one last look. Definitely one to pick up if you want to complete your Hall of Armour. Um, don't bother buying those Builder Iron Man ones because apparently they're naff. The 334 inch. So, there you go guys, and I shall see you all later.